Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Alk YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have seen that how to create your first LWC component and then we deployed it onto the Salesforce org. Now in this video, we will be discussing about that how to bind the data in LWC component. So let's first start with what exactly the data binding is in LWC. So the process of transferring the data or displaying the data from JS to HTML is known as data binding. Now let's understand the same with the help of an example, right? We are having two files. One is the HTML file and another is the JS file. And let's assume in JS file, there is one property. What is property? Property is a kind of a variable only which will be holding some value or the data. So I'm defining the property and the name of the property is name only. In that, in that name property, I'm storing the value Rohan. Okay. Now the requirement is I want to display this name after uh, the hello in HTML file. So let's take hello and whatever the value is there in this name property, I want to display in HTML file. So for right now, what name we are having that is hello Rohan. So the process of displaying this name property into HTML, this whole process is known as data binding. So now let's implement the same example practically. So for that, we need to go to the VS code. In VS code, first we need to right click onto the LWC folder and we need to create the new lightning web component okay here you need to give the name of the lightning web component and the name should be something relatable so uh, we'll be uh, doing that data binding component example right so uh, you can see that the name is in the camel uh, camel case notation and done okay so we have created these three files has been created html js and the xml file that is the meta file so first what we'll do uh, we'll just create a property in JS file and how to create that property. You just need to write the name of the property. For, for example, I'll be writing the name of the property as in first name. And in this first name, I'll be writing the name as in Rohan, right? So this is what we have declared it. And now we need to go to the HTML file. And in HTML file, earlier, if you remember, we have created the H1 tag. And in H1 tag, we were writing hello world. So now we'll be writing hello. But the name should be coming from the JS file. Now, whenever you need to show some property into HTML file, you need to use curly braces for that. Okay. And between those curly braces, you need to write the name of that property. So here, what is the name of the property? First name, I'll just copy it and paste it here. And I can save it that. Okay, this is what we call data binding that the property of this JS, we are displaying it in html now to uh, display this particular component into salesforce org we need to deploy it and for deploying it we need to make it true we need to set the targets and target will be lightning underscore underscore home page okay and we'll close this target and close targets Okay. After that, just uh, go to this thing and deploy this source to org. So you can see uh, the deployment has been started and we'll wait for some time. You can see that deploy source to org successfully run. Okay. So now we'll be going to our org and that is here. We need to go to our uh, sales app because there will be the home page that will be available in which we can see that. So home page is here and in this home page, we need to show that thing. So what we'll do, edit this page and it will uh, take us to the lightning app builder. Same thing, first lightning app builder will be showing the standard components which are already created by Salesforce. And after that, we are having custom components. In custom components, the, our component is what? The data binding component example. We'll just drag and drop it here and we'll see, save. The changes has been saved and we'll again go to the home page to see the changes. You can see hello Rohan is visible. Okay. Now I'll make the change into that JS file and we'll see that that change is reflecting into this page or not. Okay. So we'll go to this page, uh, this JS file and instead of Rohan, I'm just writing it 
राहुल और लेट्स चेंज इट टू उमा बिकॉज इट विल बी समथिंग डिफरेंट ओके नाउ टू शो दिस चेंजेस इन टू सेल्स फोर्स ऑर्ग यू नीड टू अगेन डिप्लॉय इट इन टू द ऑर्ग सो अगेन आई हैव स्टार्टेड द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिप्लॉइंग इट and th this has been deployed and if we need to we need to refresh this page and if the changes is not visible don't worry you need to hard refresh this page and then the changes will be visible you can see hello uma i hope you got the clear understanding of data binding in lwc and if you are enjoying this lwc series please let us know in the comment section